Oceans make up over 51% of your Minecraft world. From warm oceans to lukewarm oceans to cold oceans. In the infinite expanse of this Minecraft world, the one thing you'll see the most is water. And for such a huge part of the game, how come nobody talks about it? Today, I'm gonna fix that by getting four items to do something unthinkable. In under a week, I wanna swim one million blocks. Traveling the world almost exclusively by ocean to find those four items. Loading up my world on day one, I was about to punch down a tree like normal. But then I jumped into the ocean. This may sound really dumb, but just hear me out for a second. Why make wood tools when you can go into the ocean and get something even better? Look at that, I already found iron and two armor trims. Limiting yourself to the land has gotta be one of the worst mistakes you could ever make. The only loot better in a sunken ship has gotta be a buried treasure chest. And I think it's right here? Yep, and holy crap, there's diamonds in it. If I had stayed dry, I would have never found this. And another good place of finding loot is drowned. Besides guarding chests, they also drop really cool loot. Got him. Holy crap! I just got a trident, what? Further proving the power of the ocean, I got a trident on the first try. It's like a one in a hundred chance. But now that that's done, let's check my statistics to see how far I've swam. So far we've done about 1.83 kilometers. So that's almost 2,000 blocks swam already. And if you think that's fast, think again. At this rate, it would take me almost six days of continuously swimming. And I need sleep, which is why I need to find the four items that will allow me to go faster and faster until I'm able to get this done in just a few hours. Before I go on the surface, let me get my last two buried treasure. Not a second of mining and I've already got three diamonds. And I found a lava pool. So let's get that buried treasure and then let's get to the nether. This has got to be the one right here. Buried treasure? Yes! Okay, now let's go back to the island and build that nether portal. I'm begging you speedrunners, please look away. This is going to be embarrassing. That actually went better than expected. But before going to the nether, I still need to get a bed. If I don't get a bed, then when I die, I'll be sent 2,000 blocks back to spawn. If that happens, I'll be too embarrassed to upload this video. Oh. Wait a minute, is that it? Is that what I was looking for? And I'm not just gonna get beds from here, Th though I do need a bed. This village also holds the secret to the first item to swim a million blocks in survival Minecraft. Uh, librarian, librarian, hello. In the meantime, let's get a bed and ask the other villagers if they've seen Mr. Librarian. And up, oh, never mind, I found him already. And I'm pretty sure this guy only has piercing three. Don't worry, we just need to beat some sense into him. You're placed under house arrest. Give me an enchantment. Please become a librarian. Come on. That that took way too long. However, the depth starter doesn't seem that expensive, so I just need to get out of here. I just had to jinx myself. Anyway, I need to buy another one of these Depth Strider books so I'm able to get Depth Strider 3 with an anvil. And the easiest way to do that is probably by trading with a Fletcher. I just need to dig out two flint for a fletching table. That took way too long. Good sir, give me your emeralds, thank you. And now I can finally get that second Depth Strider book. Once I get enough levels, I'll be nearly at the limit of how fast you can even swim in the game. And that's the exact reason I'm going to the nether and then to the end. When you kill the ender dragon, it drops 68 levels. I'm not even kidding, I just looked it up. But now that that's all said and done, let's go back to the nether portal. My goal is to get in and out of the nether as quickly as possible. Spawning in a fortress, I immediately went to kill some blazes, kill some endermen, craft some eyes of ender, engage in a little bit of bribery, and boom, tackled the nether without dying even once. Is what I would have said if I wasn't lying out of my ass. So here's what really happened. <laughs> Told you it'd be a good idea to get a bed. Anyway, using my unparalleled levels of mathematics genius, I deduced that the stronghold was... Okay, I'm not actually that smart. I'm just gonna follow the eye vendor. Oh, it went backwards. That's right here. Okay, okay. It's gotta be down here in the water somewhere. Ayo, hey, hold on. And there's the portal room. Let's just light this thing up and let's loot this library. I'll have a lot of stuff to enchant once I get back. And I almost forgot to make a bow. That's awkward. And I found another Death Strider book, which will come in handy later. And with all that sorted, let's kill the dragon. I have no idea what I just got myself into. Oh my god, do I have blocks to bridge? Okay, good. Honestly, I'm really stressed. I hope this works out. All right, now I just gotta break the crystals. Dude, where'd you come from? What? What's going on? Okay, not off to a great start. Don't worry, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Please tell me this bed bombing strat works, dude. I've literally never tried this before solo. It just broke the bed! What's going on? Bro, you literally broke all my beds and are just flying off. Alright, we're just gonna have to kill you the manual way. The dragon's hitbox is way too high. I have to jump and I'm taking damage. Ow! Okay, it's really low. I just gotta get one last hit. Ugh. There we go. And XP galore, come on. Oh my gosh, look at all those levels. Quick reminder, my game right now says that I've swam 6.87 kilometers. My goal is a million blocks, or 1,000 kilometers. So I'm gonna be spending a lot of time just in the water. Unfortunately, my time on dry land hasn't ended yet. I still need to go to the end city, because there I'll be able to find diamond helmets with respiration, armor, tools, and even more. But hopefully I'll be able to find one without getting bored, or worse, falling into the void and losing everything. All right, where's the end gateway? Let's go. Uh-oh, that's not good. I should have brought more blocks with me. This is not great. All right, I should be able to pearl from here. 
Okay, good. Let's get a couple more pearls. Actually, I'll just build a rudimentary pearl farm and just sit here for a second. Yeah, that's perfect. Here we go. And I did this for the next few minutes. After that Enderman incident from the nether, I don't want to take any chances. I have really bad luck with entities, so hopefully this will be a better day for me. To make sure I'm loading in completely new chunks every time, I'm setting waypoints so I don't accidentally go around in a circle. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, I need to load in some more chunks, but this thing better have a ship. Ship, yes. All right, baby, let's go. I honestly only really needed to loot one end city, so. Oh my gosh, what? There's one ship there. And then there's another one right here. Are you kidding me? This is lucky, dude. I am so lucky right now. At that point, I thought my luck had run out. But then there's another one right there. There's three. There's one right there. There's one right there. And there's one back there. That is three end ships right next to each other. Oh my God, that is insane. I am so happy right now, dude. All I gotta do now is just visit all three ships. And look at all this loot, dude. There's this neat trick where you can just levitate over to the ship instead of bridging over. It's way easier. I made it. All right, let's loot this puppy. That is gonna be a much needed upgrade. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am unstoppable. I'm literally unstoppable. With my new elytra wings, I'm gonna try and fly over to the other ship without even touching the ground. Yes. Oh my gosh. Let's go. That was insane. And look at all this loot too. Before we go back and start swimming, we need to get to one last end ship. I set a temporary waypoint. Let's go get it. All right, guys, we made it. And there it is. Exactly what I needed. Literally without a hitch. That was incredible. All right, I'm gonna do this cool thing I know called elytra hopping where you literally just bounce off, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. I'm gonna try opening the land. Maybe it has to do with the ping. Okay, it absolutely did have to do with the ping. Look at that. I'm sure if I was able to increase my ping more, it would be even better. But now my elytra is way more helpful. All right, let's go back. And the end portal. Here we go. That was literally one of the best end trips I've ever had. After that streak of success, I'm starting to feel really good about myself. So good, in fact, that I'm gonna build a house. There's a little bit of something here. A couple windows, some nice walls along here, a nice roof, and boom, look at my humble abode. Is what I would say if I didn't have to swim a million blocks. The last thing I need is a lead, and apparently ancient cities have an abundance of them. And they almost always spawn under mountains, so I should be able to find one here. All right. Okay, here we are. Hopefully one of these chests has a lead in it. All right, chest number one, no lead. Chest number two, nothing, 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 nothing. That's not a good sound. Okay, ancient cities were a bad idea. So my next best bet is to find a swamp, which I already did. I'm just acting like I didn't for dramatic effect. And since we only need one, our slime goal is now complete. While I'm flying back to the ocean to get the fourth and final item, I wanted to quickly fill you in on something cool. When I hit 50,000 subs, I plan on launching a 24 hour server that anyone can join. If you're interested in being part of that project, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. But now I want to reveal to you my fourth and final item. Arguably, it's also the most important one, the one and only dolphin. Without dolphin's grace, none of this would have even been possible. And with all four items collected, now let's see how fast we really move in the water. All right, three, two, one. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude, what? Different sources say that this is either 36 blocks per second or 48. But either way, this is insane! This genuinely feels like the fastest way to travel in the game. I mean, look at the clouds whizzing by. Now, if my numbers are correct, I have to do this for the next seven and a half hours. And that in itself is pretty optimistic. Starting day three out with a bang, I went live on YouTube and just started swimming. What's up, Gerald? So we're gonna be going this way. Yeah, look at us, look at us. Who'd have thought? Not me. I also discovered you can just sleep underwater, which is really funny. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? I'm just sitting here, dude. Hey, look, it's my nether portal. Wow, what good times we had. Yeah, good times. All right, I've been thinking and I found the most efficient way to get across this ocean and grind as many blocks as possible. We're gonna set waypoints at the two corners of the ocean, which are almost exactly 5,000 blocks across. And if we go back and forth 100 times, we're gonna hit a million block swim. It's like the it's like the beep test. Anyone remember that? But after this point, I started to hit major roadblocks. Where'd you go? Wait, no, come back, please. Why? Why would you do this? Stop dying. Stop dying. Why are you dying? Why are you dying? What? Suffocated on what? Okay, so apparently dolphins have to resurface for air every four minutes, which admittedly makes a lot of sense. I just didn't realize they weren't doing it already. So I kidnapped, I mean recruited a new dolphin, and this dolphin apparently has a jet thruster on his back because holy crap. Either that or this whole time I was secretly an airbender. Uh, you pick. But in doing so, this allows my dolphin to resurface for air every few minutes without actually having to do it himself. And every trip across is about four minutes, so I just need to do that every single time I go across, and boom, infinite dolphin. I just like lift him into the air. It's like, Swimming a million blocks. Percy, are you okay? No. 
Thank you for asking. This is what having thick smoke outside does to someone. Oh God, it's terrible out there. I'm, I'm literally boxed in like a fish, which is kind of ironic considering what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I somehow stayed at least partially sane for three hours and just grinded for what felt like forever. When I was finished, it was time to finally see how many blocks I swam. All right, so in the three hours, I swam 285 kilometers. I don't know whether to be happy or upset about that because despite that being in line with what I was thinking, I really don't want to spend that long just swimming. But then I saw this video. Apparently, I was wrong. You can actually swim faster. Specifically, 146 meters per second. Effectively cutting down the swimming time by over half. I gotta try this. So I loaded up a super flat world to see if it even worked in the first place. So let's make a big line of soul soil, some temporary walls. Of course, you can't forget the dolphin. So far, it's already showing promising signs. Once I get this down pat, we should be able to implement this in our survival world. Okay, so hypothetically, if I put this on and then drink this, I should be able to get the exact same speeds that he got in this video. All right. That's about as much as I can confirm it. So let's start building this thing in survival. But first, we need to gather resources, starting with some soul soil. Then I need to get a mending book. And once I'm able to get the name tag, I should be able to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that a HUD? I already have the name tag. You've been fooled. But now we need to spend a bunch of time digging a massively long tunnel. This is honestly gonna take a while. This may seem really boring, but considering what I could be doing instead... Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Oh my god, that's a long tunnel. <laughs> now place some soul soil for this section. Oh my god, that's so much, dude. I can't even render in the end of this tunnel. And all things considered, I might have to make this even longer. The first thing I want to do, though, is get a dolphin in here. But despite wanting to get going with that, there's one more pressing issue that I have to attend to. In every single test, my boots have broken. What? And if these boots aren't gonna last me a million blocks, I have to get more and more boots. So that begs the question, how do I get enough pairs of diamond boots without having to create and enchant a new one every single time? Meet the illegal strategy that I was gonna use to get as many boots as I physically could. This better work, dude. I just gotta close my program. Yes, it crashed. Okay, okay, let's start it up again. So the idea is to have your game be as laggy as possible when you crash it, so the items just like get weirded out. I don't know how to explain it. Come on, tell me this works, please, please. <gasps> Oh my gosh, yes! Honestly, I don't know what you guys will think about this, but it's gonna be the easiest way for me to get these boots. But everybody, please dupe in moderation, okay? I'm not gonna cheat in a whole bunch of items. I'm only duplicating the boots. Oh my God, I knocked my energy drink over. Okay, now that we're on the same page, look at this. Look how many boots I have. This is almost a full shulker box full of boots. Hopefully with all these things I have on it, it should be enough. If not, I can always get a backup. So now it's basically a game of just getting everything that I need, putting it together, trapping a dolphin and boom we're off to the races first i guess we could start with filling it up with water this is gonna take a while though so let me skip to when it's done oh my god that was so boring honestly i'm just glad it's done now let's get that dolphin in now yes there's two perfect let's name tag one of them coerce him to fall into a hole i'm so sorry silly billy please don't die Oh my gosh, he's alive. What? Look at him splooshing around like a silly fella. And let's see if he works. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go, dude. Now we just need a couple more dolphins and we'll have the ultimate tunnel. I know I spent a lot of time working on this, but it's going to be so worth it. Good night, guys. Today is day five. We are two days ahead of schedule right now. I don't know if I'm gonna be done today or tomorrow, but all I know is that my tunnel is almost done. If you told me this would be possible when I started playing Minecraft, I wouldn't have believed you. Mind you, I started playing this game when I was nine and now I'm 20. But in the past couple years, I've beaten the Ender Dragon for the first time. I've bred a thousand bees. I've planted 200,000 bamboo. It's only natural that this will be my first challenge to ever hit a million. So let's finally do it. All we need is one more dolphin enclosure so we don't get stuck trying to go both ways. You just gotta dig up here and then find a dolphin, which is easier said than done, obviously. Every time I capture a new dolphin, it almost seems to increase the difficulty of finding a new one tenfold. All right, here's the other dolphin. It only took me eight minutes to find him. Here he is, right here. And with that, we should be able to go from point A to point B without getting caught in the middle. Never mind. So I went to bed and gained energy for the next day. I have done a little off-camera mining. <laughs> It's a really long story, but I basically have until the end of today to get everything done. You can see in the top right, I have a mod that shows me how long I have left on a status effect. I might want to put a dolphin in the middle just to make sure that I keep the speed throughout. So I started digging a tunnel upward so I could get another dolphin. As long as I keep going, I should be able to find one. I swear if finding a dolphin is going to be the longest part of this stream, I will be so annoyed. There it is. Boink. You've been kidnapped. There we go. I think we got it. Let's do it again. This time with a new dolphin. Beautiful. Yes. No interruptions, just straight moving. 
this very well could be my home for the next two or three hours while I just keep doing this. We'll have to see how quickly I can get to 400,000 blocks. All right, there we go, 400K. Every 100K block seems to be about half an hour at this point. With a bit more effort, I hope I can cut that down by even more. To keep better track of it, I installed a mod that allows me to see exactly how fast I'm going. However, in the heat of the moment, it seems like I forgot something essential, something that would double my speed almost instantly. So I went back to the nether in search of some brewing materials. Return to sender. There you are, Blaze. Rods, please. All right. Let's brew some swiftness potions. All right, our first batch of speed two. Before we were hitting like 80 blocks per second. Now we're at almost 140. This is what we like to call an absolute W. Now the real grind begins. And I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't easy. The only thing I had to keep me company was chat and the one person sitting in my VC with me. But really, do you need anyone else and the people closest to you? I got so desperate that I made a voice note on my Discord announcements. We're almost done, get in! Get in the stream, guys, come on. Oh my God, why am I convulsing all of a sudden? Why? Oh, because I, the food. Yeah, I'm dumb. Never mind. This is so fast. You're pretty sure at this speed, water friction would just boil me in real life? Not without drugs. <laughs> what are you talking about? My game just crashed. Why did it do that? What the frick? What's going on? 16 meters. What happened? No, 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 no. Count what you already had and add this to it. I know, just give me a second, please. Data overflow. Data overflow. How did I data overflow? There is no way. I'm pretty sure the integer limit is way higher than that. No, because it counts it in centimeters. In Wait. the actual, in the stats file, it, it counts the swam in centimeters. Oh. Every single statistic and achievement on my world disappeared in an instant. What I possibly did was have my computer hit an invisible wall. There's not enough space on the disk. Wait a second. Zero bytes. <laughs> Mystery solved, I guess. <laughs> I, I think I know what happened now. Well, I have 33 gigs free now, so. Oh my god, I can't. This is literally the first time I've ever had zero bytes remaining on a hard drive. I had signs that were actively tracking when and how many blocks I swam. So I did the math and found that I need to do 175,000 more blocks and I'll hit a million. I can't believe that happened. Like, it was scary, but it was cool. Hello. Why am I doing this? Because, because, for the sake of doing ludicrous acts which have no purpose except to show the scale of a large number that is why i seek to do for the sake of the fact that nobody else will Let's see the stats <gasps> no i go oh i went over it we did it 6 05 p.m and i'm gonna write down the date as well if you took all these source blocks of water that i have rendered in right now and put them in the line that's how far i swam oh my god i guess that's it oh, it's a night remember